Hello and welcome to the highlights of match 15 of the Pakistan Junior League. Mardan Warriors vs Gawada Sharks and whoever wins this goes right on top of the table just before the playoffs. Toss was won by the Mardan Warriors and they decided to bowl first. Gawada Sharks no change, Captain Shamil Hussain leading the way with informed Luke Benkenstein and of course their all-rounder Arafat Minhas. Two changes for Mardan Warriors. They bring in Burhan Niaz from Belgium and Zuhib Shahzeb, the fast bowler, into the 11. Let's join our commentators as the Gawada Sharks come out to bat. Looks like a good pitch, Dino. What we've seen, of course, is the main pitch, the test pitch, the centre pitch of the square. Short a ball. It's a true bounce now on this occasion. He pulls that away. Won't spare those in the power play. Look at that. Sublime. And you can play shots like that and then you see how he's got out some of the times. It's a no ball and has been treated like one. It's been put away for a boundary. It was too full. And not only that, he's also awarded a free hit. That's a good ball. He's been hit away. That's well played. Boundary of a free hit. So the first over and Shahzeb's under pressure. Mm, baptism of fire coming into the team today. That's nicely played. He's picked it up well. There he comes down the wicket. That's a shot he's created. Very well done. Just over mid-off. And again. The minute he came down, he's got the line of the ball covered. And he's played it to perfection. A couple of bounces. Another over with two boundaries. 37 for no loss. Straight. Straight as you like. And hits the parameter boards on the fall. Now that's a shot of authority. You go, boy. Good stroke. Sees the length. Decides early that he can get under it. Clears the boundary. It's a good stroke. And he's beaten that field at Gully. Just opened the face of the bat and passes through that fielder. Earns a boundary. Oh, does he get this all the way? Fine leg up. You cannot bowl there to Luke Benkenstein. He just helps himself to a maximum. Half a dozen. And you talk about the level of the eyes. Because of that good level, he was watching the ball till the end. And look at that connection. It's not an easy shot to play. It's coming right at his head. And he plays it so well. Excellent execution. Well, Abadullah tried that uh, in the first over. Gets it. And he gets it in the gap. It's a good shot from Luke Benkenstein. It wasn't a poor delivery, really. What he did so well is he just opened himself up. There's that reverse sweep. He's had a little bit of luck. He's already scored his highest score so far and it's got even higher. A boundary to finish the over. That's a lovely shot. That is such a good shot. I was just about to say, remember Sharma is saying there's so much room on the leg side. I like the way that he's used his feet and he didn't look to overhit this. He's really good against spin. Again, does he get it in the gap? No. Yeah. Just picks out. Long on. Abadullah didn't really need to do that. I think he's trying to get it in the gap. I know why you're upset. And the Warriors will take the first wicket. One too many. He played a really good shot, pre the previous delivery. This time wanted to go to the other gap. He played it straighter the last time. And Archie Lenham, he gets the big wicket. That's out. Absolutely plumb. Goes back to a full ball. I'm talking about losing momentum. Coming closer to the stumps. It was plumb in front. It didn't. Mm. 
There's that reverse sweep again. And he gets all of this and gets his first 50 in the Pakistan Junior League. He's got off to a couple of good starts. But this man, I think he's got a big future in the game. Is he going to push on all the way? This is huge. Huge six. He's now putting the bowlers under pressure and the Sharks are closing in on 100. And this is how you make the bowler ball to what you want to bowl. He has been reverse sweeping them, not thinking that he's going to come down and hit it straight. <laughs> now there's the wrong one. Plenty of bounce that time. We'll have to wait and see if there was any connection. It certainly uh, bounced a long, long way. And there was connection. Bat involved. Lenham. A very good shot. One bounce. The line of the ball, we can assume it was a wrong one again. Standard leg spin of that time. Again, it's driven. Slightly over picks. A good indication that uh, the surface is good. We've seen a scramble back for the second. And they certainly think the Warriors that that's out. Well, wow, looking at this with the naked eye, I think he could be in trouble here. Zulki foul. He's decided to come back for two. I don't know why. Going wild, scoring it over 10 and over. You've got 14 in the over already. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Really good connection. Beautifully played. The important thing about that is he didn't try and hit it too hard. It was just steered between the two fielders for four. He wants them tighter now. So lovely shot as well, and that's gone for four. So the boundaries are coming and coming quite consistently. Nine off the over, a couple of boundaries off that, 129 for three. Again, yes and no, this should be out. Yeah! And the throw is way too high. The bowler had to jump and bring it down, but they still feel they've got Benkenstein. Just terrible calling a person who has been in form. He's batting so well, you call yes, and then you send him back. Nice looking shot. In the gap, hit hard, along the carpet, hits the boundary rope. Good shot. The sound of it tells you, you don't need to look where it's going. It will sail over any ground, no matter how big it is. That's a six everywhere. Arafat Minhas showing the range of his shots. The last one to the offside, this time to the leg side. A little falter in the length. Catch it is the call, you heard that, and it's taken. Very well judged, very good catch from George Thomas down at wide long on. A utility cricketer, Hasib Khan, he scored 49 in the last game and he has been quite handy with the ball. Very well supported by George Thomas on the boundary. Gone. Oh, it's a no ball, is it? Get back in your crease. Is this because of the foot or the field position? I'm not too sure. Well. He's taken his decision back. The umpire has taken the decision back and Arafat Minhas has to walk back. The bowler was all right with the front foot. Shot. That's a good shot. He's launched that over extra cover. 19 gone, 176 for six. Gone. Just skits through. Aftab Ahmed was, had played the shot. That should be out. That's got to be out. Yes, it is. And gone. Three wickets in the over. What an over is this? One run and three wickets. Suddenly, the Sharks uh, have run out of gas. 
Last ball is a dot ball. And this over will be remembered. They have taken the momentum away from the Gavarda Sharks. Just one run and three wickets in that last over. At the end of 20 overs, 177 for nine from the Gavarda Sharks. Quite a good score. They started off so well. Benkenstein once again amongst runs, 74 of just 46. Shamal gave a good partnership, 32 of 23 in that opening. And then later on, 30 from Arafat Minhas. They lost quite a few wickets right in the end, could not accelerate as they would have liked in the last five, but they still managed 177. The bowlers were under the pump through the power play and then over 7 to 15, but last five, they did very well. Irfan, 3 for 29, 2 for 42 for Lenem, a wicket each for Abedullah and Haseeb. So the target, 178 to win this match and to go right on top of the table and get into qualifier one. That's sliding a bit leg side. No, the umpire stood still and just raised that finger. Yes, uh, Shazeb goes across. A little bit similar to Sharmail Hussein goes across. Where does it hit him? Hits him knee sliding. Up it goes. Sliced away. Just in front of square and that's a scream for a boundary. They need that. Slightly over pitch. Big shot. He's showing it. It'll go to the boundary. Yes, it does. Three men after it. And none of them were quick enough to catch up with the ball. Again, same result. In fact, this is even bigger. Probably one of the longest and biggest sixes in the PJL. 10 gone, 52 for two. Well, he goes straight. And once again, he goes long enough. All of a sudden now, Niaz has decided, forget ones and twos, do it in sixes. Yes, keep going. Yeah, now he's in. Just remember how the great Chris Gale would do it. Have a look, have a look. Leave it till as late as possible and then win the game. Brilliant, even better this time. It was full. Great swing. Great swing of the bat. Oh, that could be close, you know. That could be close, yeah, I thought so. Aftab Ahmed tried to use the crease right in front of the stumps. Oh, brilliant. Yorker, I think he drags it on. And two wickets in the over. Full delivery. He's just dragged back onto his stumps. Bold. It's brilliant now from the Sharks. And because of the dew, it's skidding a little bit. Abbas Sali, he went onto the back foot, the ball skidded. Oh, that's a good slower ball as well. And that's played well as well. Daud Nazar, the wicket keeper. Oh, this is close as well. Given, yeah, thought so. Slightly straightens, hit the back leg, going on to cannon into leg stump. Good decision on field. Good piece of bowling again from Masood. Yeah, very good. Oh, wicked again. Mohamed Irfan. He goes first ball, and guess what? We're on another hat trick, the third of the game. The Sharks are really enjoying this contest. Excellent bowling again by Saad Masood. That googly back of the hand. Yeah! Hold him. They lost another one. Eight down now. He gets his fourth. Lenham here just looking to get on with things. It's the googly. Yeah! Oh, there might be another one too. There is another one. 
So he's picked up a Pfeiffer. Celebrations in the middle. This has uh, all happened very quickly for Masood. All right, this wicket gives him five in the game. First one to get five in the Pakistan Junior League. In the competition. And it looks like that is the game. Nine down, it's all done. What a really good performance by the Sharks. What a performance it is from uh, the boys in blue. They will be so happy with this, giving them nice momentum going into the really, really sharp side of this tournament. There's no doubt the Warriors are going to have a little bit of thinking to do, but it's not going to be long before they're going to have to uh, front up against the Raiders. That's going to be happening on Wednesday. And the Sharks are going to be up against the Royals in the qualifier on Tuesday. It's a quality performance from this team. They faltered in the last outing. But today they've come out and shown the quality that we've seen in the first three matches from these boys. Captain got amongst the runs today. He'll definitely be feeling a lot better about himself, contributing to the team performance. We're at the end of 16.3 overs. The Mardan Warriors only managed 100 runs and they lost those nine wickets. The last batter being retired hurt. He wasn't available to bat. Very unlike Mardan Warriors, the kind of cricket they played throughout the tournament, this was a completely jet lag performance. Just that one partnership between Niaz, 47, and Hasib, 20, that looked good, but the rest of the batters were just nowhere close to the required run rate. Well, the Gawada Sharks bowlers took two wickets in the power play and then kept the pressure on. And have a look at that. The first five of the Pakistan Junior League, five for six for Saad Masood. Brilliant performance with the ball, and they never allowed the opposition to get up. Match summary of the last game of the round in the Pakistan Junior League. Gawada Sharks won this match by a huge margin of 77 runs and topped the table for the qualifier one. 177 for nine is what they manage with Luke Benkenstein 74 of 46 and then his captain Shamil scoring 32 of 23 starting off with a brilliant opening partnership. Kept the pressure on, Mardan Warriors got just 100 in 16.3 for the loss of nine. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of match 15 of the Pakistan Junior League. Until next time, it's goodbye.